This episode of The Central is presented by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Order online at papajohns.com and use code MCJNN for a great deal. Hey Jags, I'm Wes Fowler. And I'm Allie Ragsdale, and this is JNN's The Central. It's finally the end of first semester exams and the start of a long two and a half week break. Classes at Madison Central will be back in session on Wednesday, January 5th. Happy holidays and have a great break. Okay. On the night of December 11th, a swarm of deadly tornadoes ripped through the south and up towards the Midwest. In Kentucky, one of the hardest hit states, Governor Bashir said, quote, the devastation is unlike anything I have seen in my life and I have trouble putting it into words. In that state, the death toll is still rising, and for the survivors, the next few days are only the beginning, as many thousands of homes and businesses were destroyed in the 200-mile path of carnage. President Biden has declared a federal disaster and ordered federal aid to be made available to the hardest hit areas. The Red Cross and the team of the Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund are now accepting donations to help with the disaster relief process. Thanks, Wes. Those families are certainly in our thoughts and prayers. Last week went well for Madison Central, as the basketball team took on Pearl. The boys won 69-64, and the girls won their game 39-37. The bowling team hosted their Madison Central Invitational on Friday, and also on Friday the dance team had their competition where they placed fourth overall. Congrats to them on another dazzling season. To close out the week, the soccer team competed on Saturday against Tupelo, where the girls suffered a 2-1 loss, and the boys took their game with a close 1-0 victory. This week is a slow one for the Jags. The only team competing is the soccer team who has a JV game on Thursday against Brandon and then a varsity game on Saturday in Clinton. That's all for now, Jags. Now here's Lily with your weather. Hey, Jags. I'm Lily Ross with your weather forecast. Thursday, we're expecting some rain with a high of 63 and low of 50. Friday, we have a 40% chance of rain with a high of 66 and low of 52. Through the weekend, showers will continue with highs in the upper 60s and lows in the 50s. Monday, our high will be 63 and our low will be 42 with the possibility of more rain. That's your weather forecast. Now, back to Wes. Senior spotlights allow insight into just how much work our senior athletes put towards their sports. This week, JNN correspondent Gabe Friedman follows Carter Dickey as we learn more about his drive and passion for swim. Madison Central is known for having some of the best sports programs in all of Mississippi, but swimming team usually gets overlooked. Leading the team to two consecutive state titles, let's take a deep dive onto the career of the team's captain, Carter Dickey. It really started when I was about three or four. My sister sort of drug me into the sport. I wasn't really sure at first, and it's become pretty much my entire life. He's the first guy to rally the troops. And he gets them, and he starts the cheer, and goes, and, and he, he cheers on the teammates, and he keeps it going. Carter's a really good captain. He's really good at motivating the team and hyping everyone up before meets. As is expected of a captain and a leader, Carter sets an example by working his hardest every chance he gets. Training, it's usually we get up early around 5 o'clock and we lift from 5.30 to 6.30. Big breakfast, lots of protein, lunch, same thing, lots of snacks, lots of water in between, and then practice again at night for two hours. That's every single day. As swim is a daunting task for not only the swimmer but for the parents as well, Carter credits a lot of his success towards his parents. Gosh, so important. I mean, my parents sort of did every did everything for me that I needed. They took me to practice early mornings. They gave me the equipment I needed. They gave me motivation. Pretty much everything that I needed, they were always there to help me out. Although when watching Carter, he makes it appear very easy, Carter has faced some adversity in the form of injuries and also going through a time when he truly didn't love swim like he used to. Two years ago, I really wasn't sure about my future in the sport, and my dad sort of sat me down and talked to me, and he was like, I know how much you love this sport, and trust me, you don't want to give up on this. To Carter, it's not just about athletics, it's also about academics. And he's, um, he's going to shop around until he finds what suits his need. Carter had many college offers to look through, but ultimately he chose to continue his education at Loyola University, Maryland. When Carter told me he committed, I was really happy for him because recruiting is really hard, especially for men swimming and going D1 because there's not that many D1 swimming programs. 
So I was just really proud of him. It was sort of everything worked out perfectly. I, it, they were a Division One school. They had a really good swim program that was on the rise. They're looking to sort of improve every single year and hopefully win conference in the next few years. And then just the education sort of unmatched. Their business program was one of the top in the country. It was just sort of checked off everything on the list. From the first time he hopped into a pool to winning multiple state titles, Carter has created a legacy that will last forever in both the school and in his teammates. I mean, it's been pretty much my entire life. Like, the swim team are my people. I'd give up anything to help out one of them or be there for one of them. Everyone at Madison Central is excited to see what kind of splash Carter can make at Loyola, Maryland next year. This has been Gabe Friedman with JNN. When it comes to expressing one's creative side, Pick and Pop Pottery knows how to do it right. JNN's Alyssa Bonzali speaks with a member of the family owned business to tell us more about how the business came to be and what pottery means to them. Downtown Madison offers a fun environment with a rustic charm. Madison has become a bustling commercial area with franchises popping everywhere, but the historic business Pick and Pop Pottery is trying to keep the old town spirit alive. Uh, it's more than just a uh, shop. It's a almost like a spiritual journey it has been for me. When I first did pottery, it did something to me. It opened up something inside of me. And you could call it creativity. You could call it spirituality. You could call it just about anything. Pick and Paul is a place where people can explore and find creative handmade pottery. The Pick and Paul family has been making quality pieces that provide soul for both one's home and the city of Madison for many years. And it was a small town Madison at that time. You know, you could just ride your bike down the road and you know, hardly any cars, just a few stores. And uh, so uh, we decided at that point to have our business here. I know if I'm going to make an angel or I know if I'm going to make a bird or if I know if I'm going to make a Santa. But the clay just kind of forms itself. It, you know, I know that sounds like, yeah, right. But it does. Since the opening of Pick and Paul in 1972, the business has been family run. Robert and Mary's two daughters, Mary Klein and Peyton, have helped bring new styles and social media to the business. Make what you want to make. Don't worry about trying to make a career at first. You know, just express yourself, see where that takes you. And then from there, you can realize, okay, well, this is what I like to make and this is how I can market it. So just make sure you're doing what you want to do first. If you're wanting to add some flavor to your home or even gain some life advice, check out Pick and Paul and Madison. This has been Alyssa Long's Life with JNN. Well, that's all for this time, Jags. Be sure to check out our Instagram at Jaguar News Network and our Twitter at Jaguar News Net for more updates throughout the week. Until next time, I'm Wes Fowler. And I'm Allie Ragsdale, and this has been JNN's The Central. Central.